What is up, everybody? We are here playing Marvel Champions. Uh, I randomized everything, and I'm going to show you the, the spins real quick. You can focus good. So we have Black, Black Panthers right here. Since we haven't played with them on screen, we are doing the pre-con. Can't see the spins, though, can you? Martyrs, Marlock, Siege. That comes with two modular sets. Legions of Hydra. And running interference. That is what we're working with today. So, so. Alright. So this says set up, put the routed environment into play, set the high treachery and each more like I lay aside did, shuffle the villains together without looking to create the villain deck. Top card of this deck is in play. Knock knock. Forced response after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one knock counter on here. If there are at least three knock counters here, advance to stage 2A. That starts with one. We're just going to use these made up tokens I used for knock counters. We use red or green. Red, I think. Those up there for now. Uh, shuffle these villains. There's no back to him. First villain is Harpoon. Set up that in our thing. He comes with ten. Boom, all right. And let's go. I was going to add something else, too. What were the other things? This might be too too long. Ew. Shuffle this up. I remember to add the standard cards into this one, unlike I did for Mysterio. I get Spectrum. Ew, it will happen. Like I said, we are doing the pre-con for Black Panther.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me high energy. Shuri. Oh, what was I supposed to do? Set up, search your deck for a Black Panther upgrade and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Set up, that's... I have a question about that. Set up, stooge. Resolve character setup ability. I was wondering when that was. Okay. Um, okay, that one's. Yeah. No, I could use these with, for sure. Eh? Here that dropped four. Okay. Basically keep this and then set up search your deck for a Black Panther upgrade and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Great, huh? Uh, I think I'm going to do claws. Add it to my hand. My deck. Okay. So, first things first here. I'm going to play energy. Get Shuri out there. After Shuri enters play, search your deck for an upgrade and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. How many will I be able to pay for, pay for that? Be able to do. So in that case, I think I will just I think is it. That's where I just saw one. Vibranium to pay for pay for Panther Claws. Use Counter Punch to get Armored Vest out there. And I'll do that for Wakanda Forever. Resolve special ability of each Black Panther upgrade you control. I only have Panther Claws. Do two damage to an enemy. Four damage. Gotta flip first. 4 damage, if this is the final step of the sequence, so 4 damage, 2 Harpoon, uh, I'll attack for 2 at Harpoon as well, 4, and sure he will, 
Attack for one. That'll be my turn. One, two, three, four, five. Ready up. This goes up to two. Let's say. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one knock counter here. If there are at least three knock counters here, advance to stage two. Is that so? So on the fourth villain turn, it flips over? Okay, so he's going to attack me for two plus. When a harpoon attacks, you are an ally you control. Choose to take two indirect damage. Give one harp, give harpoon one additional face down boost card. Um, I'll defend for three and he can have a boost card. Oh boy, this one. Boost if you control a Morlock alley, choose to either deal one damage to or spend one resource of any type. I don't, so that's three damage there. Boost if the sacked evasion is attack, it gains overkill, doesn't matter. I could have blocked with Shuri, what am I doing? I will block with Shuri. No, I won't. Yeah, I will. This attack gains overkill, so I've only dealt one damage. And sure he is gone. Okay. Oh, and then back card. Back card is. Um, Lord, it ain't easy. One reveal place one additional threat here for each villain under round. Are none. That goes to three. Now it's my turn. Widow. Oh, we'll do strength to energy daggers. Get rid of this at Black Widow there. When a card is revealed from the encounter deck, it costs Black Widow and spend a mental resource. Cancel the effects of that card and discard it, then reveal another card from the encounter deck. I will swing for two. And Black Widow will swing for one more. Harpoon is down to zero. He goes under here. After the villain is defeated, put it under the put it under here. Discard each minion that shares a title with the top villain of the villain deck. That villain is in play. The villain activates against each player and player or okay, so he's activating against me. Blockbuster. So he's going to attack me for two. When Blockbuster attacks, you're an ally you control. Give Blockbuster a tough status card. Blockbuster gets plus two attack for this attack. And I cannot block at all. I will give him a tough. He's attacking for two plus three, four. I'm down to six. We have. Who is this? Blockbuster. Blockbuster at. Okay. And that's all I can do. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, let's see what I have here, real quick. Um, this goes up to three. Not counter gets on it. Ask a question on the old Discord here.
<clears throat> okay, that was asked. Um, that went up to three, right? Yeah, he's gonna attack for two. Choose give. Yeah, I got it. So choose blockbuster gets plus two attack for this attack. Black Widow will defend. Two, three, four, five, six. If you control more like ally, no. So six damage goes to Black Widow. She is gone. Bad card is when. Revealed hero, the villain, and each man gets the attacks you. So two. So he's attacking me for four, five. I'll block. Have to. So two, three, four, five. I blocked three, so I take two. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get a response. Um, so I could play two Wakanda Forevers, get him down to one. What's my recovery? Four. Oh, he's, he's got tough too. I gotta think about that. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't even think of that. Alright, I will do first aid for Wakanda forever. Resolve the special ability of each Flag Panther upgrade. Start with energy dagger, jagger, daggers, choose a player. Deal one damage to the villain. Each enemy engage with that player. Tough goes off. That goes to Panther Claws. So two damage to this enemy, four damage instead of this is the final step of the sequence, so he gets dealt four. So he's down to seven. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get behind me for what kind of forever. One damage from energy daggers, four damage from Panther Claws. So he's down to two. Might keep this. Not sure, but I'm gonna flip over. Draw two, three, four, five, six. One will come over. Med team is pretty. You got this. Move one damage from a hero to an enemy. Does that mean I heal two? One damage from your hero to an enemy. Another good question. Oh, Google, what do you got? Okay, yeah, that's exactly. So what can I do? Do here technically. Either way, let's see where this goes first. I can't do anything. So this goes up to four. And then after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one knock counter here. If there are at least three knock counters here, advance to stage two. I feel like because now there's three on there, so it should advance, right? Yeah, I'm going to take it as that. So it advances. 
Each player put one set aside Morlock ally into play under you two set aside if you're playing single player. Okay. Shuffle the high treachery into the encounter. If the previous stage was advanced by not counters, give each Morlock ally a tough status card. So hide goes in here. Okay, and then each one gets this tough. Flip over, starts with zero. Okay. That advanced, he's scheming for zero plus boost. One more like LA, a tough status card. Give the villain one additional boost card for this activation, they already have tough. So one. So this goes up by one. Bad card is Madam Hydra. No, Hydra cannot take damage while the legions of Hydra's side scheme is in play. Force response after many Hydra schemes or attacks place two threat on the legions of Hydra's side screen. Okay, six health. Making she wild. Okay, so that's not guard. I was supposed to ready up. Um, so, what am I going to do here? I am first going to heal for four. Up to eight. I feel like doing something completely stupid. She's stuck two, that's the thing. <sighs> Flip over. Oh wait, I can't do that. Really me. I forgot to get these guys. The things, I don't want her out there. I'm just gonna add problems. Discard this, do Wakanda forever. So I'm gonna do this, choose one player, deal one damage to a villain. And each enemy engage with that player. Okay, so she got stealth one, he gets stealth one as well. And then deal two damage to an enemy, four damage. If this is the final step of the sequence. So yes, that's up to five now. I'll do that again with Wakanda Forever. Well, the special ability of each Black Panther upgrade you control. Choose a player, deal one damage to the villain and to each enemy engaged with that player. So Blockbuster is down to zero, and Madam Hydra is out of the out of the game. Blockbuster did get defeated, so now there's two under here. Two under there. There are three villains under routed. The players win the game. Okay. Next up is Riptide. He's at nine hit points. There's one, um, and then he activates against me, right? The villain. The, the villain activates against each player in player order. Okay. So he's attacking for. One, place two threat on the main scheme and one threat on each side scheme. Rip gets plus two attack for this. I'll do the main scheme, actually. Three, four. So he's attacking for one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, no, he's, he doesn't attack me. He attacks one of these guys. So I technically don't even have to defend with this. Tough. Okay. Oh, and I'm still doing this. Um, and then I go to move over to Panther Claws. Deal 2 damage to an enemy, 4 damage if this is the last sequence. So he's down to 5 health. And I'm going to discard this, keep this, 
Drop two, three, four, five. Wait, that's four. Five. Okay. Alright, we're ready up. It's gonna go up to four. He's gonna attack one, two, place two threat on the main scheme, or tight gets plus two attack for this attack. Oh, I should have done that last time. Oh well, too late. New new phase. New turn. Uh he'll get plus two, so four. And he's attacking this Morlock. Four, four, I think. But the tough goes away. Um, bad card. Counter card is Shadows of the Past. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. Because we come on and cannot take damage from the from Black Panther up here. Okay. Side scheme there. Comes in with three. This gets shuffled in. Honestly, this shouldn't be much of an issue. So I just gotta deal five damage. I don't have a Wakanda forever. But we'll see what we can do here. Let's see support. I can draw two cards. One, two, three. Do that. Draw two cards. I can still do play Nick Fury. And do it. You can deal four damage to an enemy. Okay, yeah. Let's just do this for fun. Golden City. Right. Exhaust. Draw two cards. Spend four cards. Put Nick Fury out there. I'm not going to choose to draw cards. I'm going to deal four damage to an enemy. Deal four damage to Riptide. And then, just for funsies, why not? Two more damage to Riptide. Two more damage to Riptide. And then, two more damage to Riptide. then he would fall under here. That would be three. If there are three villains under routed, the players win the game. And there's three. So that was Black Panther versus Martyrs, Morlock Siege. We use Legions of Hydra and running interference on standard using the precon. Deck. Was that 30 minutes? Uh, thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you want to know when these videos will be coming out or when I'm streaming. Uh, in the comments, there is the in that comments the in the thing below. There's the links to Twitch, Facebook, and my Discord. Sweet, thanks. Deuces. They don't have the straight edge bottom there.